Welcome to Tindo, your one-stop YouTube channel for news about the East African community. In today's video, I will be updating you on the East African Community Constitution drafting progress as at now. I invite you to leave your thoughts in the comment section below. The EIC integration process has four pillars namely, the Customs Union, Common Market and Monetary Union, and the ultimate goal, the Political Federation. In May 2017, the EAC heads of state adopted a political confederation as a transitional model to the political federation. The key difference between a political confederation and a political federation is the level of sovereignty of the member states. In a confederation, member states are highly sovereign and retain significant autonomy, while in a federation, member states are less sovereign and subordinate to the central government. A nice example of confederation is the European Union, EU, and on the other hand, a federation include the United States of America, USA. A team of experts, chaired by retired Chief Justice of Uganda Benjamin Odoki and deputized by former Kenyan Attorney General Amos Wako, was dispatched to fast-track the constitution drafting process in February 2018. The team conducted nationwide consultations across EAC member states to gather stakeholders' views on their interests and key issues to inform the drafting of a model confederation and a confederal constitution. Below are some of the observations made so far. The political confederation will directly deal with partner states rather than EAC citizens. The confederal authority will have the right to suspend or expel a member state that violates the confederal constitution, but constituent states will have the liberty to join or withdraw from the confederation as they may please due to their sovereignty. Funding for the confederation will come from contributions from partner states. There should be sanctions against countries that default on their contributions. The experts hope to learn how much sovereignty each national government is willing to cede to the proposed political confederation. The experts studied confederations across the world and established why some collapsed and why some succeed. The stakeholders who among them included civil society, local leaders, opinion leaders, and the business community, among others expressed diverse opinions on what kind of a political confederation they would want. Some wanted it fast-tracked, while others thought the region should move towards a confederation gradually. Some believed that the customs union, common market, and monetary union should be fully implemented before the confederation. In the end, it was decided that a political confederation was good for the region. Participants urged partner states to take peace and security matters seriously, especially for citizens visiting foreign partner states. Thank you for watching Tindo, and please subscribe to our channel to support us.